Iodine-131. What is Iodine-131? Iodine-131, or radial iodine, is a highly radioactive isotope as it has an extremely short half-life of around 8 days, which is the time it takes to decay. It is commonly associated with medical diagnostics and treatment procedures, natural gas production and nuclear energy, but it is one of the most feared fishing products when it is inadvertently admitted into the environment, as it can be absorbed through contaminated food and will accumulate in the thyroid. What type of radiation does it produce? Iodine-131 produces beta radiation, which has the power to penetrate skin or paper, and it can be absorbed by a layer of aluminium, wood or plastic. This type of radiation is known for causing mutation and in some extreme cases, death in the cells. It may not seem logical at first, but when using radial iodine for medical use, doctors tend to use higher doses rather than low ones because it tends to kill the tissues in the thyroid, which would become cancerous as a result of the radiation. How is it used? Iodine-131 is mainly used for medical treatment procedures on the thyroid, which is a butterfly-shaped gland, and it's responsible for converting food and oxygen into energy for your body, but sometimes when it is overactive, it often results in it becoming cancerous. Radial iodine is substantially used in the cases of an overactive thyroid or cancer. When it is used for the treatment of an overactive thyroid, the radioactive iodine dose is targeted towards the part of the cancerous gland and destroys it so that the remaining parts functions just as it did before. When used for treating cancer, the radioactive iodine dose is much larger in order for it to completely destroy any of the remaining thyroid tissue in the thyroid area as well as any other cancerous tissue that may have moved to another part of the body. Once this procedure is complete, patients are allowed to go home even though there may be some radioactivity present within the body. There are many benefits in using iodine-131, especially for medical purposes as the therapy assists in making the thyroid function normally, which would give the person an overall better quality of life because the thyroid has control over your metabolism. Also, during therapy, the radial iodine extinguishes any destructive cancerous tissue and this is carried out with a lower expense compared to other types of radiation. But like most forms of radiotherapy, there are also many risks involved, especially when used in high doses because the main risk with the high levels of exposure is that the thyroid cancer may reoccur in later life. Also, there are environmental risks present as it is the most significant contributor to health hazards because of the fact that it is predominantly a uranium and plutonium fission product. Radioisotopes are actually extremely useful resources in both the medical and nuclear energy industries. Even though they pose various risks, the medical advantages outweighs the uncertainty of using this radioisotope. If it is used with appropriate monitoring, it is also a valuable, valuable in nuclear medicine, and the chances of it affecting the environment are quite slim. Also, the human body needs small doses of iodine in the thyroid in order for it to function properly, so the only way that it could cause harm is if, it, if there is an excessive amount of iodine present, which is highly unlikely to occur as all procedures and treatments are undertaken by professional nuclear medicine technologists.